now because I'm so excited because I have big news to share. I finally hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> and that is all thanks to you guys. I cannot thank you guys enough for helping me get here. This literally would not be possible without you guys unless I wanted to make a thousand email accounts and subscribe to myself, which I could do, but that's just crazy. And I'm not quite on that level of the spectrum of craziness. So instead what I did to celebrate hitting 1000 subscribers on YouTube, I did something maybe even a little crazier. I did a $1,000 shopping haul for workout clothes. Yes, I bought $1,000 worth of workout clothes as a way to celebrate hitting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Maybe that is crazier than 1,000 emails. I don't know. For those of you guys who aren't already aware, let me give you a little bit of backstory as to why I bought a shit ton of workout clothes. I am someone who quite literally goes to the gym multiple times a day throughout the week. I am, I, I am on that level of crazy. I, but I own it. So I not only go to the gym a couple times a day throughout the week, I am also a part-time personal trainer on the side. So fitness is a huge, huge aspect of my life and um, I need enough clothes to work out in. Not only that, but ladies, I'm sure you've had this problem before. Um, I Like 90% of the pants I wear have to be leggings because jeans just don't fit me. They are too big on my waist can't get them past my butt and they are just suffocating my calf enough that I can't wear jeans ever. I have to resort to leggings, which I have no problem with because I love leggings. They make my butt look great. It's basically wearing pajamas every single day. But anyway, so I not only need enough workout clothes to sustain the amount of times I work out throughout the week, but I need enough leggings to just wear because I don't want to wear the same pair of leggings every single day. So, yay! Why Acta? Why am I doing a shopping haul and review on Acta? Earlier this year, at the very beginning, I did a huge uh, shopping haul for the new year of workout clothes with a brand called Cora. And Cora is Acta. Acta is Cora. Let me explain that a little bit further. Cora had to change their name due to branding and legal issues, I believe. So they got rid of the name Cora. They changed their name to Acta as well as they redesigned all of their clothes. So I am testing out their new line of workout clothes to see if it's just the same, if it's any better, uh, because I do, I did do, still do, did, love the workout clothes that I bought through Cora, but I am very curious to see uh, what their new line is like, especially with all their fun new designs and new colors that they have out there. So a thousand dollars worth of clothes is going to be a lot of stuff to try on. Let's break it down. I have six sports bras, five pairs of leggings, plus one pair of sweatpant joggers which aren't quite leggings but kind of are leggings, three pairs of biker shorts, and one long sleeve workout shirt as well as two just like regular crop top shirts to wear over a sports bra. Um, I was not doing the math, I, I did not tally that in my head as I was talking because I'm way too anxious to try everything on, but that is everything I have to try on for you guys for today. What are we testing? We are testing to see if any of the stuff is see-through. We're testing to see if the sizing is accurate. I am a small on almost all levels, uh, even with my big butt. I'm still a size small. And we're also going to be testing just how functional they are when you're actually wearing them in the gym, which means this is not just a try on review. I'm actually going to be showing you guys me working out in these clothes throughout the week and seeing is this functional? Do the shorts ride up? Are there weird gnarly sweat stains that um, you know, maybe are just a little bit embarrassing that I should want to know about before I buy it in this specific color. Fun stuff like that. <sighs> breathe, Alyssa, breathe. I guess we should just go ahead and dive right in. Oh, okay. 
first thing I'm going to try on, this is actually pretty much the exact same design that they had with uh, when they were known as Cora. This is from their Seamless line. Um, I have, I already know I'm going to love these because I own these in a couple of the other colors. However, I have always wanted this like blue color and every time I went to go buy it, it was always sold out. So um, we're going to start here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad that they carried this design over from Cora to Acta because I love these leggings. The waist is like super slimming. It sucks me in in all the right places. It's not like constricting me. I'm not like, I feel like I can breathe. It's not like suffocating me. Yeah, you can tell it's not like digging into my skin as well. It's just kind of lying on top of it while sucking me in at the same time. It's so great. And then like, look at that booty. Who doesn't want to wear leggings that make your booty look this good? Woo -woo, woo -woo. Love this. I'm gonna do a quick squat test. We're gonna see, can we say anything? Can we say anything? The waistband is also not moving when you're doing some squats, so that's wonderful. I don't know about you guys on your end, but I don't see any of my underwear lines underneath this as well, so this is like, what a way to start. Also, this is, uh, this, this bra is small, these are smalls. Um, I'm, you know, so this, this fits me really well. Even, again, even with like the big legs, big butt, this small fits me wonderfully. I'm not like, constrained or constricted in any any way and I can move I can move <laughs> okay all right all right we all know I love this so let's move on <laughs> so this is from their new new line design new line design yeah this is their perforated seamless leggings which I'm super excited about because seamless love it these are seamless love it these have some perforations going on downside as well as uh, down by the ankles so that way they're breathable hey Ooh. So this one is, it's got some pros and it's got some cons to it. First off, I do love the design. I love the open back of the, the peep, the like peep hole sports bra. I absolutely love that. I love this collar. And again, I love this waistband. It's just like the last pair where it holds you in, it sucks you in without like being constricting or digging into your skin. It feels great. And it makes my butt look like a peach. However, in case you guys couldn't tell, you were probably looking at my butt and going, what are these black spots? Did it come like that? Is it dirty? No. Um, these are see-through. I have some tattoos that you can see through these. So that, those little guys, that's part of a tattoo that you can see. So they are see-through. Um, the waistband stays put though, which is great, but yeah, if you have tattoos on your legs, they're going to, uh, show up through these or, uh, the other downside that I'm not like super, super big fan of, but it's really not a big deal because it is easily solvable is I'm not a huge fan of the padding that's in this particular sports bra. It like, I feel like it's very, very noticeable. However, you can just take them right out. Um, all the padding is removable. Problem solved. No more, no more padding circles around them. But then you can kind of see your nipples. 
So, um, you know, again, pros and cons. Love the color, color is great. Love the fit of it. Love the design, uh, especially like these, the, the perforated design of this. I absolutely love this, but you know, it is see-through and which means the material is like a little, little thin, which you can see your nippular area if you choose to not go with the, with the padding. Shit, I'm still gonna wear them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can see my tattoos through them. Big deal, sterile them and I'll wear them. But you know, if you're wearing some uh, underwear, just make sure that it is a lighter pair so that way you're not also getting some nice uh, underwear shadow through them. So we're gonna move on to the very next, it's the exact same design, just a different color. So um, chances are these might also have the issue of being a little see-through as well, especially since it is a lighter color, but so we're gonna try them on. These are a little see-through, but maybe not as much. I don't know, it's really hard to tell from my angle that I'm looking in, in the mirror and the lighting, which is weird because this is a lighter color, so you would think that it's going to be more transparent. I'll let you guys be the judge. I, I, you, you can, you can see better than I can, but yes, these still, once again, fit great. Um, love it, so. Now for the matching sports bra. Got some funky boobs going on right now, so yeah, I'm just gonna take these guys out. Okay. Freaking love this color. We're gonna do the squat test, of course. So, hopefully, however transparent it is or is not, that it just stays like that when I'm doing these squats. I love this color. My concern is when I'm working out, where are those sweat stains gonna appear? Crotch sweat is a thing, so I just know like I'm gonna have some some uh, pretty noticeable <laughs> sweat stains around my crotch, probably around my butt crack too, because that's a thing too. And then always you always get that cleavage crack, just wherever wherever your body likes to hug itself. But if you just want to look cute too, like this is just like regardless of working out, I, yeah, no, I absolutely love this. So that's it on the, uh, the two perforated designs that I bought. Moving on to, what is this? I have no idea what this is. Black. Uh, these are just, it looks like just some standard seamless leggings as well. Yes. Oh, with another, another seamless sports bra. As much as I love wearing colors, I always like to throw in some black because black goes with everything. Black goes with everything. <laughs> you don't have the issue of sweat stains and it is definitely not gonna be see-through. Regardless of those situations with these two last designs that I just tried on, if you get these in black, you're gonna be good to go. You're not gonna be able to see through them, I guarantee it. And you're not gonna have the issue of potential sweat stains. If you guys like these designs, I think that they have them in black. I honestly have no idea, but. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. This combo is just like super cute and I love it. Cause black goes with everything. Yes. Oh, that snap. Love this. Oh, this feels good. This is 
Um, just another one of their seamless designs, but like it's so comfortable. <laughs> This is why I wear yoga pants every single day <laughs> because like, it's just so comfortable. I will say I realized I started putting these on and I started putting them on backwards because of the tag, the tag was in the front. Um, but that reminded me, I wanted to mention the fact that this and then the other three designs that I tried on, there was no tag on the pants or the sports bra. It was just printed on there. So if you, you don't have to deal with like any sort of tag issues going on there because I know like that's super annoying is to have a tag rubbing up against you when you're working out or something so problem solved no tags there but um yeah. cool you can't really see my butt as well because it's so dark but but they're not see-through hello What else do we have here? So what's left is I have two more sports bras, two more pairs of pants, two shirts, one workout top, and then three, three shorts. Wow. Oh man, this is a lot. This is, <laughs> this is a lot. Four down. Five to go. So I'm like, we're like halfway there, guys. Woo, halfway there. These are a different style of their leggings. Um, these, this does have a tag, speaking of tags. This is made of a different material than this is. Oh my God, almost there. When they're on, they fit great, but getting them on, that was a challenge. There is this seam right here in the waistband that is not very like stretchable. So getting them past this old badonkadonk was a workout. But now that they're on, they're not coming off. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I, oh, that was, that took so much time. So aside from how ridiculously long it took to get into these, I still like them. Uh, I, like, I like the waistband. The waistband is still, even with this, that stupid seam right there, it's not suffocating me. It's not digging into my skin. It still is nice and um, loose while being tight enough to suck me in. So that's great. There is a hidden, pocket, can you see? I am pulling down. There's a hidden pocket right there for you guys to like stick small things in. Do I have small things? I have a wallet. Oh. So if you're going hiking, you want to carry a purse or a fanny pack, but you need your ID. Oh yeah. easier than I'm making it look. Um, you just stick it in this pocket back here. Good to go. You just stick your keys back there, maybe some cash or something. Um, I barely feel it as I'm moving around. Yeah. So a nice little handy dandy pocket. I think this kind of is why I bought this because it kind of fits this design. So I'm gonna try on, while I'm like dying of heat right now, I'm gonna try this guy on to just get it over it. I'm kind of excited. I think you're supposed to wear a sports bra underneath this. I don't ever wear long sleeve shirts because I get really hot when I work out, so the last thing I need is additional layers. However, 
you know, winter is approaching, it is getting colder, so this would totally be something, maybe not that I would wear in the gym, but if I'm going hiking, because you know, I live in LA, so December and January is still hiking weather, but you just need to layer up a little bit more, I would totally wear this while going hiking with these leggings where I just throw stuff in that little hidden pocket and bam, I got a hiking outfit, so. Um, but I can see my nipples through this, so I do think this is supposed to be worn with a sports bra. I mean, that's the intention maybe, but if you don't care, like, really, I don't care. We all have nipples, surprise, oh my god, ah, spoiler alert. The only other thing too is like these sleeves feel a little too long for me in particular, so I'm just gonna like roll them up a little bit to make up for that, but other than that, Cute. I dig it. Last pair of leggings that aren't leggings that I'm gonna try on. Um, these are actually called their daily joggers and they are a little bit looser. They're not like actual leggings. They have um, down by the ankle cuff like is where it's, what's the word? tight and form-fitting where everything else is a little bit more like breathable and, and looser um, and it has pockets who doesn't love pockets so I'm gonna give these a go real quick oh oh man of all the black ones I bought, I think these just might be my favorite. Basically, these are like form-fitting sweatpants with pockets. And this also has that like secret back hidden pocket as well. Yeah, of all the things I ordered, I ordered these in a size medium just because when it comes to sweatpants, I want a little bit more room, but these, Mediums fit great. They fit like they should be a small. So if you are interested in their daily joggers, I would order one size up. Yeah. yeah, pockets. They are killing it with the waistband game. They know exactly how to have just have really good waistbands on all their pants so far. So. That's, that, that is my last pair of pants to try on. Woo! I got more trash. Hmm. I got two of their black pairs of shorts because they come in different lengths. One is seven inches and one is nine inches. So that way I can try them on and see, um, especially while working out, if one rolls up opposed to the other or if they both are just kind of like gonna stay put in the same spot the whole time. Also, so that way like you can see where uh, the seven inches ends on your leg and the nine inches ends on your leg. So if you want a little bit more coverage, you get that. But if you're like, show that skin girl, you can get that as well. All right, time to get out of this, this sweatsuit and try on some of this last stuff. Back to colors, yes. I heard some seams crackling and popping when I put this on, so hopefully that is not a sign indicating that they're gonna pop on me later on, and maybe it's just like me breaking it in. I like, I like this. Um, getting back into some some breathable stuff. I love these straps. All the other stra straps I tried on were a lot, like they were like the nice thick ones. These are, they have a lot more breathing room going on up here. I will say this, band down at the bottom feels a smidge tight just a smidge but you know it's doable it's workable i think it's fine it's not um, it's not uncomfortable um it's just like it, it, could, it could be a little looser and maybe as i wear it it'll kind of loosen up a little bit more but it's still like it's still loose enough and then this also has the removable padding as well if you're not like super fan of that so for the nine inch shorts let's try those on first oh yeah oh yeah oh, feels good 
nice and slimming so the nine inches ends about mid thigh which is good I like that so to have shorts that are going to not like roll up past here and you get that chafe going on love this uh, because guess what my thighs do touch and I'm proud of that with all my other shorts my other shorts love to roll up so if these can last through an entire workout in the same spot that they start uh, that's a win for me uh, these are already like looking great again the waistband like uh, yes and Let's go ahead and try on one of these crop tops that I got because I haven't tried them on yet. So what's great is like this is tieable, so you have the option to tie it in the back. Super cute. Or if you want a little bit more, something more to play with, you can tie it in the front. Who doesn't like options? Like, I love this. I am going to wear this even, even not to the gym. I'm just gonna wear this in, in everyday life. Something else I'll even do, this might be a little odd, but this is technically backwards too, but I would wear this backwards, like to the pool. So if I'm wearing a swimsuit underneath, bam. Or even just like this. Shit. You got a three-way shirt right here. This is like one of the best, best investments you can get. Three shirts in one. I love this. So cute. So now to try on the seven inches. Alright, so we have about mid-thigh. If you see the tattoos on my legs, this goes right to the eye of my wolf. So we'll see the difference. So I would say that this is slightly above mid thigh. Obviously, it's going to be it shorter. Duh, I don't know why I said that. But yeah, that was pretty much exactly two inches from where it left off. Mom, if you're watching, I'm sorry to break the news to you this way. I have tattoos on my legs. Surprise! <laughs> Anywho, now that I'm all freaked out, let's do it. So they seem to stay in place when I'm squatting, which is fabulous. So seems like this is where they're gonna chill out most of my workout. Um, cardio, I'm curious with that, because that's also when my shorts tend to ride up is during cardio, so. And blue's my color, so you know. You know I had to get one in blue too. So, flipping cute. Love this. All right, guys, we're almost there. You with me? You with me on this? Let's do it, let's bang this out. Last one, we're doing this exact same bra in Lelo, and the bike shorts also Lelo. Oh, yeah. I had some snap crackling popping when I was putting this on too, but yeah, feels good. Cool. Now I look like a little bumblebee. This, this feels great. The, you know, like again, the waistband is just a little bit too tight, but I kind of, as I was talking, kind of forgot about it, so I don't think it's gonna be like a like, a, you, know, you know, sometimes you wear clothes and they're tight when you start off and it just seems as the day goes on, the, the tighter they get. This does not seem like it will be that case. It seems like it will be a looser form to you rather than you forming to it type situation. So. All right. Um, Yeah, these are see-through as hell. Um, <laughs> wow. You can see my tattoos and my underwear. It's perfect. Yeah. 
So, not really sure what to do about that situation going on. We went through a lot of clothes, guys. <laughs> this is what $1,000 worth of workout clothes looks like. So much. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think out of everything, these shorts, for very obvious reasons, are my least favorite. I don't know if I have a favorite favorite yet. That is when this testing of working out and everything and testing the functionality of these clothes is gonna come into handy. I and mean, who knows, I might not even have a favorite at the end of this. I could love it all. I already love it all, except the shorts. I guess I'm just gonna end it right here and I definitely have a week's worth of workout clothes right there. So on that note, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow at 5 a.m. and we'll, uh, we'll get the rest of this review rolling. maybe like an inch, but other than that, like they did not go up here, which is what I hate, and that is why I don't wear shorts ever. I'm gonna fix that though. <laughs> lot of clothes to get through this week and some of the clothes I bought aren't necessarily clothes I personally would work out in. I am wearing the crop top and the uh, uh, black joggers for the day. So this is this is my outfit for the day. <laughs> and also because my workout today is going to be just abs during my lunch hour I'm just gonna go ahead and wear the longer pair of biker shorts just because I already know like the short pair work great so those are gonna be even better they're not gonna make that all and the blue version of yesterday's bra that I wore so basically two items that I kind of already wore and tested out just different variations so today's gonna be easy breezy and I just realized I am keeping <laughs> the blue theme uh, throughout my look today snap 
the waistband, like really stretch it when I was putting it on because this, it's, it's these pants. This seam right here, it doesn't want to give very much. So I really have to like pull it apart and I heard some more popping of the seam to just to get it on. So they fit fine during the workout. Flash forward two weeks later and I have officially worked out in every single item that I bought. Just kidding, that's a lie. I worked out in almost every single item that I bought. I didn't work out in the daily joggers because uh, I just wore those uh, for daytime use. And then same thing with the pink, coral pink and blue crop top that I bought because I don't wear shirts when I work out. I um, loved them. I absolutely loved everything I wore except the yellow biker shorts. Those were just like way too see-through for me. I just don't need people knowing what underwear I'm wearing. Everything else was great. Everything moved the way it was meant to. Nothing rode up or fell down. Yeah, because waistbands do that. Waistbands fall down. Like everything stayed in place. I will say, so those sports bras that I bought with the, like they were like, just like the double strap going on. I probably should have gotten one size up, they were a little like compressed around my torso. I'm naturally not very big chested, so I naturally opt for a small when I buy sports bras, but those ones were just a little bit too snug on me. And I think part of that is not just because like, it's not the size of my boobs that made it snug, it was the size of like my band. You know, cause you know how like when you buy bras, you can get like a 32, 34, 36 size band. I think, I can't remember what I am band wise, band size wise, but um, I think a medium would have fit a little bit better on me. I did also take out the padding in those bras as well, just to like ease the compression on it a little bit so it wasn't as snug. Um, I did that after the fact on uh, a couple of them and it felt better, but it was still like the band was just a little too tight um, and I had a little bit of like, you know, spillage going on on the sides and stuff like that. So if you're small chested, keep in mind like how uh, big your torso is around um, because if you're small chested but you kind of have a little bit more of a, a wider torso, then you might want to opt for the next size up. Uh, with the biker shorts though, I was really surprised at how well that those stayed in place. They did ride up just a smidge during my cardio workout, but not nearly as much as I expected or have experienced in the past with other biker shorts. Love those shorts, except the yellow ones. Not gonna wear those. <laughs> like I said, I did wear the like blue crop top throughout the day and the daily joggers, and I am wearing them right now. Let's see, can you see? There's a little like logo. This was my outfit for the day. I live in these. I want to buy more. I just cannot get enough of these pants. I want one for every day of the week. So, you know, only like four more and then, and then I'm all set. Again, for these, like I bought a medium because I didn't want like the compression that regular leggings tend to come with. So I love, and they fit wonderfully. So if you're wanting the daily joggers, get the next size up and you shouldn't really have any regrets. Unless you're small and your legs just like aren't as big as mine because I do kind of have bigger legs and a bigger but um, that, and I, I know that, so you don't have like thicker, thicker thighs and stuff like that, then the small probably is better for you. Those blue seamless leggings are my absolute favorite of my purchase. God damn, they made my butt look so good. Like I want 
a pair of those for every day of the week as well. Like I will work out in nothing but those pants. They just, wow, bubble butt. Oh, goals. The waistband stayed put perfectly. It was wonderful. The, that's the bar. Anytime I try on a pair of leggings, it has to match the, that standard uh, of those blue seamless that I wore because those are just absolutely perfect. Aside from how see-through uh, the perforated seamless leggings were, I still loved them, I still wore them. The only other thing that I noticed when I was working out was that the waistband would just like, the very top would just like fold over like, like a half an inch ever so slightly. And because I'm OCD in nature, I like always had to kind of readjust so that way it would stop like bending over in on itself, but they still stay put even with that little, um, cork in there. Oh, and the last thing that I wore when I worked out was the uh, long sleeve. I don't even know what it is. It's not a shirt, but it's like, no, it was fine. I actually ended up wearing that without a bra. Ladies stayed in place, they were fine. You could see my nipples a little bit, but honestly, who cares? Like we all have nipples. There are much bigger things I worry about. Um, I didn't do any cardio when I wore that shirt. So had I actually done cardio, I definitely would have tacked on a sports bra underneath because there is no way that there was enough support uh, to do something like running. And then the only thing that like kind of annoyed me with that long sleeve shirt was like the tag. I just kept feeling it like rubbing up against my skin. So I just cut that guy out and we're all good. That's pretty much everything. Like sports bras were great. All the leggings were great. All the shorts were great. I am extremely satisfied with my purchase, extremely satisfied with the quality of uh, materials that I got. and. A thousand dollars worth of workout clothes better be freaking good quality and I think I, I got exactly what it paid for. Uh, again, minus those yellow shorts, just don't buy those. I am like a forever loyal fan of Acta. I will continue buying them until the day I die probably. I don't know. Please, please Acta, don't ever go out of business because I don't know what I'll do without your clothes. I want to touch on three reasons as to why I love this brand so much and why I will forever be a lifelong customer of theirs. To start off with, reason number one, which uh, hopefully you guys picked up on watching me work out, the quality is wonderful, super high quality, everything stays where it needs to. You get what you pay for with this. You're not spending a lot of money on clothes that are poor quality. The quality is so great that it's literally keeping me coming back for more. The joggers I want more of, the seamless leggings I want more of, the seamless sports bras I want more of. Um, I do want to try the uh, other sports bras in a bigger size, but I, I still loved those. Like everything was wonderful. The second reason is they are a very altruistic brand of clothing. They do something with every single purchase where they donate a portion of their sales to a charity of your choosing. You may have noticed that on every single uh, item I've purchased, there are four dots on it. Uh, these ones are the same color, but you can see four dots there, four dots there, four dots on everything. And those four dots represent four different charities that they donate to of your choosing. Mental health, human trafficking, water, and hunger. So, but not only that, here is where it gets even better. It's not like you do one big shopping haul and at the end of your checkout, you're picking one charity. You pick a charity for every single item you purchase. So how many items did I buy? One, two, three, four, five, six, 79. I don't know. I bought like at least like anywhere from 15 to 20 items. I got to donate to one of those four charities 15 to 20 times which is insane. I'm a huge supporter of that. I absolutely love that. Like, how can you not be an advocate of that? Quality is great, causes are great. And the third one is they really cared about me. And let me explain this. When I first made my purchase, one of my packages went missing. I never received it. And that was a package of over $500 worth of clothes. And I was, so upset. I figured someone stole it or I, I don't know, it got delivered to the wrong address. I have no idea what exactly happened to that package, but I reached out to them, letting them know the situation that, Hey, I spent this much money on these clothes. I don't know what to do. Like, can I get a refund? Can I get like a reshipment of these clothes items? Like what, what can we do to 
you know, not like not put me $500 in the hole. They reached back out to me saying that they talked with the president of the company who felt so bad about my situation that they gifted me uh, a gift card for the amount that I spent on those items for me to use towards another purchase. So not only was I able to rebuy all the clothes that I lost, but I did it without having to use my own money. They went out of their way to make sure that not only was my problem taken care of, but they weren't trying to shortchange me. They weren't just like, oh, sorry, someone stole your package. There's nothing we can do. They really wanted to make it right. And they did that by allowing me to rebuy everything. And I'm so glad that they did because I like, I like, I'm, I'm wearing these clothes every single day at the gym now. That's, that's literally all that you'll see me in. Wrapping up this video with a huge two thumbs up for Acta. You guys are killing it. I know like you, I was a little nervous that when you guys switched from Cora to Acta, maybe something was gonna slip along the way. The quality did not fall away. The customer service that I got did not fall away. Like you guys really stepped it up and I like that is, I, I cannot thank you enough for doing that for me. And you guys are still killing it with the charities. Like I love seeing, you know, all the giving back that you're doing. I get those like, you know, new emails every now and then saying like, hey, we're doing a huge sale and, or hey, we're giving to these charities for this month on, throughout the month of October, they did a whole like, uh, they added a fifth charity and so that we could give back for breast cancer awareness. Like, like you're absolutely killing it. So lifelong customer right here. And now I'm like, I'm a little sad because I'm so set on workout clothes that all I want to do is another shopping haul with you guys. And yet, um, I need to wait. <laughs> I, uh, I, I need to, I need to wait. So maybe I'll do one for the new year in three weeks. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that maybe this helped answer some of your questions that you've had. Maybe you guys are like iffy on the brand altogether and this helped sway you in one direction or the either. If you guys have any questions regarding anything that you saw in the video, any of the clothes, anything that I was doing, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. I would love to respond to those for you. Um, if you guys have requests on more workout clothes that you would like to see, try it out before you buy it out, I will buy it out and I'll try it out for you guys. Yeah literally any reason to buy more clothes. <laughs> With that, I will leave you guys to maybe go do some shopping and uh, get ready for this new year that we're about to hit and hopefully get some new new, new gear in your wardrobe to just motivate and inspire you. Having a brand new wardrobe to work out in is like such a huge motivate <laughs> having a brand new wardrobe to work out in is such a huge motivation to actually like go out and work out in those because you want to show them off and you want to show people just how freaking good you look in them so best of luck to you guys and uh uh try not to spend a thousand dollars like i did because that was even though I'm, I'm glad i did it that was a pretty big commitment and um yeah it was worth it, but it was, it was a lot. With that, I will leave you guys to it. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. Until next time, take care guys.